course that I'm currently offering, uh, which may sound a bit daunting or completely unfamiliar to you, is called the mature therapy, mature in quotes, because it doesn't mean mature like we think of it today, but more her understanding of the adult. We have to remember that Karen Horney lived and worked mostly in the 30s, 40s, and early 50s. And some of the terminology in that time was different than today. Uh, what she meant by, what we mean by the mature uh, theory and therapy of Dr. Karen Horney is um, her understanding of how adults deal with what at the time was called neurotic issues. We no longer use the term neurosis in the same way it was used back then. It was actually a psychoanalytic term in many ways. Uh, but she wanted to look at why some of our ways of being in the world as adults that cause us a lot of problems we seem unable to get rid of. And she was not against looking at childhood. So she looked at parenting and other issues in childhood as ways that may have precipitated um, what some of you who may have taken courses in undergrad, a little bit of course in Karen Horn, I may have heard of her moving toward moving away and moving against personality and how we develop those and how they form neurotic coping styles as she would say. Today we would talk about things like generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, um, reactive uh, issues like that instead of neurosis, uh, and also some personality disorders like schizoid personality, narcissistic personality disorder, by borderline personality disorder, would be the, the diagnosis category today that she was talking about then. But her quest was how do culture and upbringing affect how we act and react with other people. So she was very concerned with our interaction in the world. She was heavily influenced by Eric Fromm, who was an anthropologist. He was influenced by her, so you see elements of his writing in her and her elements of her writing in his writing. And so therefore she looked at all that, and again, that was not very popular with the traditional psychoanalytic society, which was another reason that she was ostracized. Um, and so I like to see her as a rebel who stood up for what she believed, like an early feminist. And um, she, she realized the importance of culture when she came to the United States and saw the differences in Americans from what she experienced of people who were born and raised in Germany. And she could not ignore the differences. And there could be no other reason, she said, except the culture here was different than the culture there. She was a very uh, determined, bright and intelligent woman um, who struggled with a lot of her own personal issues, but we all do. In fact, I've heard the term wounded healer to refer to all of us in the helping profession. And I think some of her theories certainly developed out of her own struggles to understand who she was as a person. A very exciting and, and interesting woman. If you are at all interested in the history of psychoanalysis, in the history of personality theory, uh, and you've already taken some wonderful courses offered here on Abraham Maslow, Harry Stack Sullivan, uh, Carl Jung, I know Dr. Morgan teaches them, for example, then I think you would want to add to your repertoire and take this wonderful course, these two wonderful courses, on Dr. Karen Horney.